Hello everybody, welcome to another update on the stock screener. Today we're going to talk about Vale. As you can see, Vale has been doing very well. It has actually doubled since uh, June. And I think we're going much higher. So what's Vale? Vale is a Brazilian company and producing mainly iron ore, a little bit of nickel and copper. That's basically it. And first thing to know about this is this here. So they had a dam disaster and they had to pay for it, but we already know now that it will be 7 billion. So that's out of the way. And if you compare that with the market cap, 7 billion is really nothing for this company. So how do we value this company? Uh, you need to first know that Vale primarily produces iron ore. Almost 80 to 90% is iron ore. So we need to know what the iron ore price will be doing. So this is the chart that you need to watch. The iron ore chart. And as you can see it had a dip here until 2015 and then it starts rising. How do you know what iron ore will do? So you need to know that China is the largest consumer of iron ore. So we need to look at China steel demand. And that's this chart here. You can see that China steel demand has been growing and it started to dip here in 2015. And that's also where the iron ore price went down. But now we see an increase again. And it looks like this trend is accelerating. As you can see here, it is actually accelerating higher. So that's why I think that iron ore will keep going up. And that's very good for Vale's revenues. What you also can look at is China commodity building because steel is being used in construction. So what you need to check is each month you go to this site and check what the floor space under construction is. As long as this goes up, then you're okay. So you need these Chinese to uh, build real estate. They need to construct. And when they do that, they will need steel and iron ore. So, for example, this is not good. This seems to flatten out. So in all, some of these cities, it flattens out. It even declines here. So we need to watch these numbers. Also important is to look at the Chinese Yuan. Make sure that the Chinese Yuan strengthens. So this is good. US dollar goes down against the Chinese Yuan. If that continues going this way, then we're good. So make sure to watch all of these trends. So iron ore. You can see that uh, China doesn't have a lot of production of iron ore. So China needs to import all of its iron ore. And as you can see here, the two countries that have the lowest cost of production are Australia and Brazil. And Brazil is where I'm looking here for Vale, because that's the Brazilian company. And you can see here that China has a very high cost of production. When you look at this chart here, you can see that China 
has the most uh, growth. Ex China, we see that the iron ore hasn't uh, increased in demand, but uh, most of the demand is coming from China. And later on, India as well. So, India will also be uh, a future consumer of iron ore. This is the latest chart. You can see that there's a growth in iron ore imports. This, this line here. And that's growing. This is uh, a forecast for global iron ore demand. And it's rising, so that's, that's good. As long as it isn't uh, going down, then we are safe. And we are currently in a deficit in iron ore. That's mostly because Vale had this dam disaster. But they are now increasing their production again. And we'll talk about that later. So here you see that uh, the largest iron ore reserves are in Brazil, Australia, Russia. So we are very good here with Brazil. So that's why I like Vale. Let's take a look at Vale. You can see that Vale exports mostly to Asia and China. And it has nickel and copper and then a lot of iron ore. They have sold their fertilizers uh, to Mosaic. So this is from 2016. So now it's mostly iron ore. Let's take a look at the financials. So this is the, the third quarter financial statement of 2020. Let's see what the earnings are. So net income is 2.8 billion billion eh, in the third quarter. So let's see what the iron ore price was in the third quarter. Uh, that's somewhere here. And that's, uh, let's say, 120 US dollar per ton. So iron ore is now at 160. That's, that's about 30% higher. Is it really 30%? Yeah, 30% higher. That's very amazing. That also means that the net earnings are 30% higher right now. So this number would be, let's say, uh, at seven here, let's say 3.5 billion. Yeah, 3.5 billion per quarter. So what does that mean? 3.5 billion per quarter times four, let's say 14 billion. Then let's take a look at the market cap. Let's say 15 billion. Um, then, then we have uh, 100 divided by 15 billion is, I think we are at a PE of five to six. So it's really cheap. If you have 15 billion in net earnings and you're only at market cap of 90, then you're really cheap at a P of six. So this is a very cheap company. I mean, there are companies uh, like Freeport McMoran at the PE of 20. This is at the PE of 6. So it can easily double and go to, let's say, 24 here in the coming year. That's why I like this company. Let's take a look at the revenues. So we can see here that they have uh, iron ore pellets, a bit of manganese, coal, nickel, and copper, but most of this is iron ore. So I have put all the numbers here. 
with the prices, the revenues, and you can see that 7% currently is nickel and 4% copper. The rest is iron ore. Then in 2021, the iron ore part is, is growing. And then in 2022, it is going even more. It's going to 90% if prices stay the same. But I don't think that prices will stay the same probably nickel will be going much higher and copper as well. So this is how the revenue would look like at the same prices. And you can actually see here nickel is going to be stable in production in the coming years. But look at this copper. Copper is going to go from 600 to 900 that's almost 50 percent increase in two years and iron ore the same it will go from 13 billion revenue it will go to uh, 17 billion so that's a 40 percent increase in revenue in the next two years because they will be reopening their mines that they closed down. And so, so we have a very good cushion here. Revenue will go up by 40%, basically. That means that the share price will also go up by 40% minimum over the next two years. So let's say that uh, the iron ore price would go down by 10% or 20%. Even then, this increase in production will offset the price decline in iron ore. So even then, uh, you would see Vale uh, being very cheap. PE would be still at 6 at the minimum. So I think there's a lot of upside in this company. But of course, you need to watch, watch out for the iron ore price. And do what I say here, check steel production, uh, check China. You can also check what the China power consumption is. Just search here and then we get our latest chart make sure that China is growing, okay? See that the power consumption growth rate is rebounding. Um, GDP is also rebounding in China. And we want to see China grow. So this GDP number needs to stay at 6%. If we see this come back down, then we have a problem. But I think we are very okay at this moment, I think that the economy will continue to grow. And yeah, it's a very good uh, moment to start buying Vale. It has consolidated a bit here, so we're ready for another leg up. Okay, I hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one.